All right, failers. Well, today I'm making a DIY DIY uh, KTM Husky uh, air filter cage uh, protector. This nipple here is prone to punching holes through your air filter. And see if I can get to light right here. See that big dent indent? That's what we want to uh, prevent from happening. So this is my air filter. All nice and lubed up with uh, Bell Ray um, air filter oil and then I put rim grease on. So here's the cage, air filter cage. I made a template, well not a template but just a piece of cardboard and then I actually put wheel bearing grease, uh, just ordinary grease on top of there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up around here with hot glue and make my own little uh, cage protector. And I'm hoping with that grease I can pop that off if I have to. But just like that, let that sit. And uh, we should have a our uh, DIY uh, air filter protector. Um, you can buy these. They're roughly ten dollars from Rocky Mountain ATV or even Motorsports. Um, you can get their metal ones, but hey, why not make a you make your own? All right, so I'm gonna pull this off now. It cured dried just enough and uh, see if we can pop this off the cardboard I didn't think about putting the bearing grease on the cardboard So there it is. I'll pull this off here. There's a little bit of cardboard right here, but I can get that off. I'll pick that off. It's still a little warm. But put that on there, fits perfectly. Air filter will keep that on there and it that nipple won't poke through my air filter. So let me uh, put my gloves on here, get my gloves, and I'm going to get the air filter on, and I'm going to show you what it looks like um, once the air filter is installed. Alright, so I brought the air filter out here into the sunlight, and hopefully you guys can see that, that the hot glue there is against the air filter, and it is no longer poking the inside of my air filter and trying to work a hole through it otherwise it'd be poking a hole through there or, try, or about to so awesome well let's get this installed on the bike get a little bit more rim, rim grease on here and uh, get it installed and she's still installed in the bike guys all right Alright failures, so that is your DIY tip for your Endora bike. Uh, if you have a KTM or KTM or Husky. And uh, if you like this content, please hit the like button. That helps the channel quite a bit. Uh, subscribe if you're not a fellow subscriber. Um, I got some big plans for the channel here. So if you're not subscribed, then you'll click that bell and click the notifications hit all you possibly could miss out on some really interesting stuff on my channel here and uh 
definitely stay updated. We're going to be heading to AOAA very shortly. All right, fellas, until next time, yee yee.